Good morning, Elliot. Fat boy. I'm getting big. <laughs> Are you a fatty today? Hey guys, it is about noon and I'm going to do a second coffee. This has two tablespoons of heavy cream, a splash of liquid sucralose, and I know a lot of you are like, mm, you know, this chemical shit store. It is, so I'm going to challenge myself when this is gone to give it up for a month. And if I can do that, then I'm not going to reintroduce it. So wish me luck, but I can do it because it's just freaking liquid sucralose. It's not that big of a deal. I can make my coffee taste good. I'm just gonna convince myself of that. And I am two days sober from liquid sucralose. It's a nice chilly day outside. It's supposed to rain, but it hasn't started yet. So I'm just gonna drink this and I have a face mask on. It's like um, one of those days where I just like took a long shower. The boys aren't here, so it's kind of quiet. Ryan's still sleeping. It's noon right now. I woke up really early too. I woke up at like seven today. And yeah, so I'm feeling good. My hair like, even though it looks like crap, it's nice and clean and I cut it, but it's so uneven. I really don't care. Anyway, I am going to enjoy this weather and chill out some more. And I still haven't eaten yet, so I'll show you guys that when I do. Okay. So I saw someone do this recently online and I thought I'd give it a chance because chicken legs are always on sale. So I got myself a pack of chicken legs. I'm heating up my Instant Pot on saute. I just added some pepper. I'm gonna re uh, preheat my water and prep my two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with the mother floating around down there. And I'm not trying to brown these chicken legs. I'm just trying to preheat my Instant Pot pretty much and I'm just gonna add my hot water once it's ready, just to kind of speed up the process of cooking this. Otherwise, it would just have to preheat in the Instant Pot itself. And I'm gonna add the apple cider vinegar, put the lid on, and I'm gonna do a slow cook. So you can do this in a slow cooker for six hours. And I thought I would document my hair being down. Okay, so I decided to make some clarified butter. Shout out to my brother, Tyler, who showed me how to make this like two years ago when he came over and cooked breakfast for me. It was uh, delicious. So I just put it in the microwave and kind of get the milk solids to go way down to the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is filter it in my mesh, metal mesh strainer. Um, just try to get all these milk solids out. See, there it is, and that's salt as well. And I'm gonna double strain mine. I tried it in a coffee filter and it did not work well, maybe because my butter started to actually cool down by then. And this is the Kerrygold butter that I used. It doesn't matter if it's salted or unsalted. So I'm just gonna set aside two tablespoons while I look at my meat and while Maddie looks at my meat and looks away because she wants it so bad. But anyways, look at this price, you guys, $3.41. Try going through any drive-thru and getting like a meal for less than four bucks, like seriously. Gotta share with my boo. And throw the scraps in with the chicken. I thought might as well. So to my pan, I'm gonna add the two tablespoons of clarified butter and with this I can cook it at a high temperature and it won't smoke, it won't burn. So this is my first time actually using clarified butter to cook with. I've used ghee before but um, from my understanding this is a little bit different. What I didn't explain right there is I just put my whole entire cutting board on the scale, zeroed it out, took my meat and I was left with a negative 5.95 on the scale so that's like around six ounces. But can we appreciate the browniness on this meat? It's cooking at such a high temperature, it's getting it nice and brown and crispy, and the inside's going to be like a medium, medium well. I could not have been happier with the way this turned out, you guys. You have to try it if you are not already a genius and have done this like a million other times. But anyways, I'm a little bit late to the clarified butter game. So I'm going to take this um, sour cream and be careful if you do that and add it straight to a hot pan because it splatters because it's like a cold, wet thing and I'm putting it in a hot pan with, you know, really hot clarified butter 
but I'm also going to um, measure out two servings of Parmesan cheese and about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, some black pepper, and some Italian seasoning. What you don't see is I added a little bit of salt uh, later on um, because I did clarify the butter so it did take out the salt content so I wanted to add a little bit more in and the Parmesan cheese just didn't give it enough sodium for my liking because I like salty food now. So you can mix this with vegetables if you want but I've been going really low carb and it was like super creamy and rich and pretty delicious. And if you're tracking, you can literally just pour this into a container, measure it out, and just deduct. So I would just track one and a half tablespoons instead of two tablespoons. You know what I mean? I'm going to pour myself a huge glass of iced black tea, unsweetened, because, you know, I am on my way out of this liquid sucralose game. And the Michelle you're talking to right now, I have totally quit sucralose and I'm not even caring at the moment. So we'll see. I just had a couple bites of my tea gelatin and what I do is I just take my two tablespoons of whatever kind of gelatin I have. I've been trying different ones and then I'll add a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. When I make the tea I will use four cups of water to steep four tea bags and you can use whatever kind of tea you want. Right now I'm using passion tea and then once it's steeped and chilled you add your gelatin, heat it up, add your sweetener and then chill it down and then voila! It's delicious and it's healthy and no food coloring or weird sweeteners that you don't like. But also right after that couple bites of gelatin that I had, I decided to weigh myself up a half a serving of these walnuts I got in some keto box. They're okay, they could use a little bit more salt. They don't taste very salty. I think maybe if they had toasted them a little bit better that it could make the coating stick to them a little bit better, but they're good. Um, you know, they're probably really easy to replicate at home. so. I keep them in the freezer because I don't like to eat nuts very often and when I do I like to either be very mindful or track and weigh them up just so I don't overeat them because right now I'm just doing half a serving because I don't want to overdo it and I'm trying to be in some sort of deficit but yeah this is my snackity snack snack and they're good they're just a little bland that's all I did manage to prioritize a tiny bit of self-care which is really important you know, for everybody's mental health. And I realized that all my pictures are of food and the kids, so I had to take a few selfies and I thought I'd share with you guys because it's been a while. We decided to go to La Tapatia Mexican Grill again. Ryan's work friend suggested it and it's our favorite now. My radishes, onions, and jalapenos and a carrot in there. Hey babe. What's up Ryan? We didn't we didn't do it last time. I wasn't recording. You gonna say hi again? Hi. Hi. What's up, Adam? You gonna show them how you say hi without your hands? Oh, my mangoes all in love. He's doing it. <laughs> Feed me. Feed me all night long. <laughs> Feed me. More than that. I ordered the Mexican Caesar salad at this place and they put so much chicken and I also got a side of avocado and it was ridiculously amazing with no tortilla strips. Dinner was delicious. It was so good. I have some in here, but I might finish it before we even get home because it was so good. I know. Anyways, off to Walmart. You guys look like rag muffins. You are a muffin? Mm. A healthy muffin? Yeah. A healthy muffin. I'm a healthy muffin. Yes, you are. I really like Walmart the best. You like Walmart the best? Yeah. Because like, why? I love enchiladas the best. You love enchiladas? Why do you like Walmart the best? Because it has toys. Because toys. Okay, so a little update on this. It is so late now, but all the chicken is pretty much falling off the bone. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to let it chill. It's been seven hours warm for an hour and it was on low for six hours. So I'm just going to probably let this go for a little bit longer and then pick off the chicken and then store the broth in the refrigerator. When it cools down, the fat will come and like rise to the top and then I can just pick it off. I like to add salt at the end just so I can, you know, make it right and not be too salty or not salty enough. And as far as the chicken goes, I'm just going to shred that up and store it. So I can just, you know, have chicken ready to go. 
Here's all the chicken deboned and I went ahead and put all the bones and the skin back inside of the Instant Pot right here. So I'm just going to plug that back in and let it go probably until tomorrow and then I will just strain it out. Like I like to double strain it and then I'll put it in my mason jars and keep it in the fridge and I'm actually making chicken tortilla soup today. And for some reason I always like have my chicken broth in there forever but um, I'm gonna use it today so thumbs up. Can't forget my baby because she always deserves some protein. Yeah, that's a good girl. I just got back from Walmart, so I'm gonna show you what I got. I only got, as far as keto goes, is some vanilla extract and some heavy cream. What's up, baby? What'd you get? Nothing at Walmart. What are you gonna get, though? A battle pass at Fortnite. A Fortnite battle pass? Woo -hoo. I got this I'm gonna make for Aurora because I'm just trying to be crafty. I'm just feeling the crafty little bug. I'm going to get two new characters. Do it. And I got this because this is for me, that's for Aurora, so I got this for me because, yeah, that, that's totally accurate. Are you excited, Maddie? Are you excited? Oh, yeah, you are. We want to go potty? You want to go potty? All right, we just got home, so I think it's has to go potty. All right, guys, that's going to, where's the light? Okay, there we go. Wait a second, wait a second. All right, guys, that's going to do my full day of eating today. I hope you liked it. If you did, say hi, Adam. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next one. Subscribe! Bye. Subscribe! Subscribe! Hit the like button. Ready, set, go. Bye-bye and subscribe and hit the like button. I got a pro. Somebody's watching my back. <laughs> All right, bye, guys.